welcome back in this lecture we are going to clean up whatever we have created okay so first we will terraform destroy auto approve so we'll complete that so that whatever the changes we have done will go away and after that we'll clean up the dot terraform folders and then v1 plan dot out so once you complete this you are good from here you really don't need to worry about these changes i am supposed to do these changes to ensure that I don't forget these changes so that these templates will be again demo ready for you when you are executing it. Okay. So for that purpose, I will ensure that all these steps are followed in my case. Okay. So let's wait for the resource to get deleted. After that, I'll clean those things. So EC2 instance and then equivalent uh, security groups got deleted. So let me also remove the dot terraform folder and also remove the v1 plan dot out okay good so this cleanup files is completed now i also need to ensure that these demo tags are commented back okay in the this one okay so inside this this is commented which again when you are running it at this step you are going to enable so i'll comment this and i'll also comment this you will use it during step 8 okay so this completes the ec2 instance and uh, also i need to rename this right so my ec2 vm only new is not needed here okay so in the same way in outputs also my ec2 vm only you will do that when that step respect to step comes you will add hyphen new okay so let me go here i completed these tags and rename the ec2 instance from new to my ec2 also updated the outputs accordingly and roll back for students to have seamless demo for these things okay in the same way uh, whatever i added in the new tag in ec2 i have commented it out and new rule in vpc web also i need to remove or i can comment okay so whatever is the port 8080 so this one i can comment you can uncomment when you are doing the step 8 okay i can say enable during step 0 8 that's good so that is done and then new ec2 instance resource also commented okay so that that also you will do at step 08 okay so that's good so this completes the whole thing means like my ec2 vm dot public ip my ec2 vm dot public dns and my ec2 vm so now everything is in the rollback state okay so now from step 1 to step 8 whatever you execute everything is going to work as expected okay so this completes the terraform state commands in our next lecture we are going to focus on another topic okay so i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you